Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can work with JSON files in your Jenkins pipeline project. JSON files are most commonly used in our framework to store different settings like environmental settings or run settings. And before each test execution, this is most likely we need to update these settings. So I'll show you how you can read and write the JSON file in your Jenkins pipeline. This is going to be easy and straightforward because we'll be using a plugin which provides the facility to work with JSON files. Here I have one pipeline project and if I'll go to the configure option and here you can see we have a pipeline script consists of multiple stages, which basically do the workspace cleanup, then git clone, and then perform all other operations. And then finally, run the test. Now let's say that before running the test, if I need to update any settings in one of the JSON files, then how can we do that? For example, let's say if this is my config file, and here I need to update the settings information like it contains browser type, log level, the device where I want to run the test, the platform name, and the other stuff. Let's say I want to update the device name before executing the test. Then first, I need to read the JSON file, and then I need to update the value of these settings variables. So to perform all these operations, there is a plugin available for Jenkins called as Pipeline Utility Plugin. So I'm going to download that plugin first. And we can use the existing methods to read and update the JSON file of that plugin. This is the plugin which I was talking about. So let me install this. And if I'll open this in the next tab, then under the pipeline utility steps, here you can see how we can read the different file format, like a CSV file, JSON files. So all these options are available as part of this pipeline utility plugin. Here you can see the example of how we can read the JSON file. And the same we are going to use in our pipeline project. Here we can see that the plugin has been installed so I'll go back to the dashboard. After that, I'll move to the pipeline demo project. Now, what I'm going to do is, before the test run stage, I'm gonna create a new stage called settings update. Under this stage, I'm gonna update my config setting file. So let me copy this file path. Now, if I move to the next tab, then here you can see that to read the JSON file, what we can do is we can define a variable and then we can call read JSON followed by the file path. So I'm gonna copy this statement and then I'll go back to my pipeline script. Here, in this statement, I'm gonna name the variable as settings. And then let me provide the file path here. Now let's say that I want to update the values in the JSON file for the platform name and the device name. So I'm gonna update their values at runtime by providing the new values which I want to update. Right now, this settings variable has all the information and the values which I have updated are available to this settings variable. But now to apply the changes back to the JSON file, what we need to do, we need to use the write JSON method. In the write JSON method, 
we need to provide the JSON file path followed by the JSON which we want to write into the file. Let me copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. Now I'll create a variable for file name and I'll use the same variable to pass the file name in all the methods. And then here I'll pass this variable which contains the JSON string. Now, because we are using the script here, so let me add this under the script block. And then this one as well will move under these steps. Now, what I'm going to do is I just comment the existing steps or stages so that we'll just see if our script to update the JSON file is perfectly working fine or not. Now let me save the changes. And then I'm going to build this project. You can see that the build has been started. And if I move to the console, Here you can see that the settings update, read JSON executed, then write JSON, and then we can see the build is successful. Now I'll just quickly move to this config JSON file. Here you can see that the JSON has been updated. You can see that the platform name is updated to the iOS, and the device name is updated to iPhone 14. This is how you can update your JSON file. You can read your JSON file, and then you can update the information back to the original JSON file by using the Pipeline Utility plugin. I hope you liked this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.